A 58-year-old woman presented with recurrent jaundice. Serum IgG4 levels were massively increased and autoimmune pancreatitis was suspected. During endoscopy, we found this swollen duodenal papilla with altered vascular pattern and irregular dilated veins that were enhanced by NBI. Biopsies were sampled from the papilla and immunohistology showed abundant IgG4 positive plasma cells further supporting the diagnosis of type 1 autoimmune pancreatitis. In the next step, we conducted endoscopic radial ultrasonography. Here we see the hypoechoic enlarged and sausage-like pancreas with some hyperechoic foci. We conducted EUS-guided FNA using a 22-gauge needle to further establish the suspected diagnosis and differentiate it from pancreatic cancer. Histological workup revealed lymphoplasmacytic sclerosing pancreatitis, LPSP. However, IgG4 immunostaining was negative. Next, we perform ERCP. Here we see a stricture of the lower part of the common bile duct and diffuse irregular narrowing of the main pancreatic duct and side branches without upstream dilatation of the pancreatic duct. These findings are again well in line with suspected autoimmune pancreatitis. To further characterize the stenosis of the common bile duct, we perform intraductal ultrasonography. We see symmetrical thickening of the duct with homogeneous internal foci. Again, these findings are in line with autoimmune pancreatitis. Because of the strong evidence of autoimmune pancreatitis, a corticosteroid therapy was initiated. Four weeks later, ERCP revealed regression of the pathological changes within the pancreas and CT scan also showed marked regression of the pancreatic changes.